Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2023 Winnebago Hike 100 series, model number 1316TB. This is an awesome, compact, rugged, off-road camper. We got single over single bunks, a big cargo door in the back, rollover style sofa, whole lot going on with this guy, weighing around 3,100 pounds or so. I'm here with that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. How's it going, happy campers? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. Hike 100, you've done it. You've come out with some really, really cool, very lightweight trailers, but still very high-end features. We're excited about it. We got the like button, we got the subscribe button, smash both of those. We're on Instagram, we're on TikTok, and we're on Facebook. Follow us along there also. Comment section's open. Let us know what you think about this little thing. Right on, Brandon. This is going to have you be a disc jockey for Johnny Cash. This is a great looking trailer, Brandon. Very I love cool. this. Very like B van kind of conversion idea. Very, very slick. You can see it's lifted off the ground. We got the uh, premium suspension system, which, which is a torsion suspension with a trailing arm. It's uh, very off road. Yeah, very slick. Let's get into it, Brandon. We got the exoskeleton right through here where you can strap things to, hang things on, dry things off. Protects the trailer as well. Protects your fiberglass, protects your skirting. Notice how high up the skirting comes up off the side here just to protect your fiberglass. That's great. Outside spray port right here. Outside receptacle there. Front power jack. We've also got power stabilizer jacks all the way around. A single 20 pound per pain tank. Your battery box location is going to be in through there. Lazy Acres provides a battery with the trailer. It also comes up uh, with a solar panel built into the roof coming down through a charge controller, charging that battery. We don't have a black water tank on this guy. It's a cassette style toilet. So you just release this like this, pull your tank right out, maybe put out your fire with it. I suggest you just bring it to the dumping station and dump it like that. But why this is great is you can be parked at the campsite, off road somewhere, off grid, and just bring this with you without actually unpacking your whole trailer. Pretty slick in through there. We still have a freshwater tank and a gray water tank reservoir on this that's actually built into the trailer. So that part's handled for you. you got a side mount roof ladder. Get up on your roof and check your seals every 90 days. Still a rubber roof on this guy, so you gotta be checking those. We got a solar panel, roof mounted AC up through there. There's a TV antenna, there's a vent up there. All that stuff has to be maintained. We got our furnace vent here, outside shower here, city water connection, fresh water fill, six gallon gas electric water heater, right through there is your sewer drain for your gray water. Now, on the outside shower topic, there's a bat wing awning that comes off the off door side and off the rear side. And the way that bat wing awning works, there's magnets built in, you got to magnetize to the side of the trailer and actually have like a proper shower curtain here on the outside. We still have a shower inside, but in case you actually want to really use your outside shower, you can do that right there. Here's our fender flares with built-in storage in through here. These are lockable so you can secure some items there. We got a bunk window, a bunk window. We got some great storage here all the way through there to the other side. Never mind. <laughs> Just storage right there. I was thinking of the other model we were just looking yeah. at, Brandon. Look before you speak. Look bud. before you speak. <laughs> just shut up, Josh. Um, but there is still great storage in through there. That's excellent. Nice thick doors. Slam latch doors, shutting those down. And this one's even got some mud on it, so it's just like you're off road. 30 amp detachable style cord. Here's that cargo style door here at the back. It's opened all the way. You can bring in like, I guess, those short kayaks, some bikes. Whatever you're doing in through here, we've got that class three receiver, which is good for 150 pounds here at the back. This exoskeleton continues around just to protect everything on this guy. We're prepped up with the roof there for a backup camera by Voyageur. And then here on this side, we have our proper, I shouldn't say proper, our regular electric awning that just comes out. You push a button, easy peasy. We got a gas fitting down here. And then we've got a little bit different here with this fender flare. This one flips up. This one flips down, so you actually got like a little bit of a workstation here. You can pull outside that outside griddle or that, that movable electric grill. Um, burner. It's just a burner. It's a burner, thank Single you. Single burner. Single burner, electrical, plugs in. You got some space in through here to just tuck some stuff away. You know, flay your fish out here, whatever you want to do. Lend a hand grab handle, uh, two-step entrance into the unit. Friction door. This has also got the screenshot on it, so you just re release this. It shuts it for you, and you actually, on these ones, you actually have the built-in 
line there to block out that light as well. Pretty cool, eh, Brandon? Very cool. Very, very cool. 16 inch Goodyear tires too. That's a big upgrade as well. Just to give you even more clearance. Let's have a look inside, Brandon. Right on, folks. We're inside that 1316 TB. I really like this floor plan, Brandon. Do you like the, the, the FB more or this one more? I like the storage in the FB is probably superior because of the rear storage that they give you. Mm -hmm. um, but this one I like better for the sleeping. Yeah. I just the floor plan. It just feels bigger in here. Yes. Like this does not feel like a 13 foot trailer. This feels know. very long in through here. Uh, I'm sitting here on the couch, uh, which is kind of a conversion option. We're going to get into it here, but it's very comfortable. I'm sitting here on a rainy day. I can definitely, I can definitely handle this in through here. Uh, this bunk folds up. We're going to get to all of that. That's a nice big window right through here facing our campsite. And then I love the army green we got going on with all the storage here across the top. Nice hidden hinges. It's not like, like a glossy green either. It's a nice flat green in through there. That's killer. Now, um, this will actually convert into one big giant bed. This rolls over like so and converts into one big bed here at the bottom. And then if you want to flip this up and in, up and out, I guess you'd say. You just button it up like so. I'll bring this around. And we're fitting in the electric bikes. Yeah, you're fitting in your e-bikes. Wide things in there. There's lots and lots and lots of uh, uh, like floor space in through here. We actually have the tie downs. You can tie things down in through here as well. That's pretty slick. We've got the foldable table that fits right in front of the couch. Brent and I earlier had that table pulled out when we we're sitting and enjoying some, some breakfast here at Lazy Acres. This is the Batwing style uh, awning. Uh, that actually comes with like a carrying bag as well, but that goes on the off door side and the back side. Bringing this down now. There's a window in through there. This is gonna fold up. So like if you have this into a complete bed, maybe you don't want that second bunk down over the top. Whatever you want to do in through there, that's pretty slick. Uh, we got USBs on both bunks here with lights on both bunks. And there's also this great cubby hole right here, Brendan, with more USB and a 110 receptacle. And then this storage right here, sorry, this, this bunk right here is where we had all that outside storage. So that's what's going on in through there. Now, here at the front, Brendan, all these hikes seem to have the very uh, the same kitchen here at the front, um, which is nice and compact. There's a... Uh, uh, there is a like a single burner um, electric burner that comes with a trailer. I'll show you that here in a second. We got storage here at the top. There's your manuals. What's in the box? Oh, pardon me, Brandon. You're right. We showed this in the last one. Ooh. That's an outside speaker there for you. Okay. Bluetooth, of course. We got a convection microwave. We've got a 12 volt fridge in through here. Three cubic feet. There is a freezer box in through there, and this pulls out here. TV great additional counter space this is probably where you're going to put that uh single burner i think brendan when you're using that you instantly boil your water i don't know if you instantly boil you, it it said i read the box buddy it sounds like it's pretty sweet yeah yeah okay you'll see it when we open the thing okay <laughs> uh but there is storage right through there that's enough hiding through there for a garbage can for sure and we have an undermount stainless steel sink pull out faucet receptacle right here and a a uh, 12 volt uh, charger for your cell phone in through there. Feeling good, B? Feeling great. All right. Now behind me, this is one difference on certain models. This will be shorter or wider depending on the floor plan. This is the wider one. Um, we just got some stuff for the, the, uh, the toilet in through there. We've got a bar here to hang things up. And we've got your stove top. Oh, they do say induction. Yep. Yeah, that's slick in through there. So that, it obviously comes out of the box and you can either use it outside, inside, whatever you want to do. Just plug it on a 110 power and you're off the races. We've got our furnace right through here, our breakers and our fuses, and then even a little bit of a cutout right through there just to store your uh, flip flops or whatever. See? It says boil water in a snap. In a snap. Well, a snap is pretty quick. Yeah, exactly. It's 800 watts. I can read a box too, Brendan. <laughs> now, that's why I pointed. <laughs> <laughs> even more shower. Slash wet bath. I'm six feet. I fit in here like I fit in here like it's not too tight at all for me. I can make this work. We've got a sink uh, to wash your hands with. We got a spot right through here to store your toilet paper. And then I love how they do this with the toilet, Brian. And they make it a um, uh, like a swiveling toilet. So 
It's out of the way now where my feet are, but when I'm gonna use the toilet, I just rotate this around, turn it the proper way, and then I can sit down and do my business in through here. Now I have I have foot space, I've got hip space. You can't be too big, obviously, but this is a like a wet bath that actually works. Like a lot of times I'm crouched over, I can't quite stand up. I can I can make this bathroom work for sure. Now there's one other key point about this bathroom that I like, and we got them out of the way. We'll put them in for now. It's got these uh, shelves where, you know, let's say you're coming off riding, you're mountain biking, you're, you know, you're, you're racing around, whatever you're doing, and you've got wet, dirty stuff. You can kind of use the shower here to clean all that stuff off and then let it just hang dry right through here on the shelves. Pretty slick, right, Brendan? Very cool. There's a light in there. It's very bright in there. It's a special light, too. It's different than all the rest. It's different than all the rest, buddy. Oh, we can talk about the shelf. That's a nice shelf. Rooftop AC, vent, everything you need, folks. That's the video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.